Earlier this morning, we spoke to FEMA Deputy Administrator Daniel Kanuski, who says the decrease in Florence's top winds does not make this storm any less of a threat. The impacts we're really worried about, water, that flooding once it gets inland, and that 13 feet of storm surge are unchanged. So forget about the, the category number. What we have to be concerned about are the real deadly impacts. We also asked about a story we first told you about yesterday about FEMA's response to Hurricane Maria. CBS News obtained photos showing millions of bottles of water that have been sitting on an airport runway in Ceiba, Puerto Rico, since last fall when the hurricane hit. Those were excess water bottles. Those were not needed during the response phase and were not distributed by the government of Puerto Rico or FEMA for that reason. Well, the optics sure look bad, but you're telling us you're comfortable with how FEMA handled that situation. I am, and we'll be putting out a statement uh, later today with an exact timeline uh, for this situation. I'm confident that uh, those that needed those bottles of water got them during the response phase, and that these were excess bottles of water that were, again, transferred to save money for the American taxpayer in January. According to a new Washington Post Kaiser Family Foundation survey, 50 percent of Puerto Ricans say people in their households could not get enough water to drink in the year since Maria.